First of all, welcome to Palm Beach and Respectable Street Cafe's 35th anniversary um, party. Thank you. We're, we're so we are so happy and honored to have you here. Okay, we are happy to be here. Uh, now, have you ever heard Despite heard of the, the venue? Despite have, the rain. Yes, uh, it, it'll be fine. I hope so. I, w w <laughs> the, the stage is a little wet for now, w but I mean, what what's a little water and electricity between friends? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Looking at your tour dates, um, you guys are full throttle, um, packing a lot of shows in not a lot of time. Mm -hmm. um, I imagine it's got to just be exhausting. So far, so good. We, uh, we did five shows out of the 25 we are supposed to do. And, um, and our agent did a good job with the days of the shows and the days of the traveling days and stuff. So, but maybe I'll talk to you differently in about a week or two. You know. <laughs> So, um, so is it much easier touring without the pressure of, of a label? Um, oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's off way behind us. You know. Yeah. So we're just touring, uh, as we say in French, For a la carte. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that that's awesome. Um, now, I know your shows. Yeah, you know, I've heard you uh, mention your shows as a multimedia spectacle. Mm, we try to. Yes. Yes, yes. and. Um, and I can attest. I've seen see as I think this will be my fourth or fifth time, mm -hmm. and, uh, and and I agree. But the question I have is 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 somebody in charge of of one aspect of you know like you know the visual or you know or is it pretty much everybody has input and yeah yeah we 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 talk about what we want to do uh, first of of course we talk about multimedia as a show but. Uh, the music comes first, of course. Right. So we work the music. We we think about the um, uh, the set list, the way it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be presented to the audience. The new tracks that we included, that we we have new three new new tracks we're playing now. Um, but then we talk about everything. Of course, we are not in charge of the visuals. I mean, we're not making the visuals. Right. But we um, we picked up a, a couple of photographers in in Belgium. We did promotion uh, shots with them. But we also discovered that they had shots that they they uh, they take all over the world, and we saw that, and we were amazed by their work. And we also have two guys who are working on visuals. So we bought some pictures of those guys that were fitting the music, and we asked the two other guys to mix them because we wanted to go back a little bit uh, to the roots of the band when there was no projection, uh, film projection, but slides, you know, like right. in the early days, like Pink Floyd was also using that. So when we started in 81, 82, 83, we were using slides and we wanted to come back to that spirit. So we cannot project slides because that's very too old fashioned, right. but we try to recover the, 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 the spirit of it. So using uh, st uh, still images, but mixed, like they, they're moving slowly. So they're all black and white also, right. which is also like a, a flavor of the eighties. Um, so yeah, we, we the, the 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 band is um, there's not one person in charge. So it's same for the outfit that we're wearing where we're on stage. So we, we talk a lot about what we want to do. So right. um, yeah, and I mean your shows. It's a, it's a teamwork. Yeah. Definitely. yeah. Um, one of the reasons I was, I was saying I mean, it's got to be exhausting. I mean watching you guys, and you guys aren't the Rolling Stones up there just you know playing music. I mean you guys you guys are are interactive. I mean you guys are up there. I mean it's more. It's more of a punk show than it is anything else. You got you guys are jumping up and down. You guys, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's funny you you use that word uh, the punk uh, because when we started, it was really a bit the aim of the band because all the electronic band we were fan of, we would go see them and we would hear great music, but there was nothing happening. There was no interaction static. between. It was static, like the Human League, Orchestra Manoeuvres. Uh, Kraftwerk yeah. is a bit apart because they they have a complete concept, but right. all those band were like very good musicians. The music was great, but there was no interaction between the band and the audience. It was very cool very stiff right and um, um, what we liked in the punk scene was the energy so we try to capture the energy of the punk scene we're not a punk band obviously but to to uh, to, to get something physical um, to get it's some energy punk. well out of the music we're doing it's also danceable yeah so we um, what would be the point to be static on stage when you produce danceable music you know so um, yeah we try to uh, to stay in shape uh, to be able to uh, you, you gotta be yeah yeah and and, and to try also to Enjoy yourself the, the music life. The now, if I, if I can get away from music for for a second, because I mean I know it's all about music, but to me, I think 
we all have to find something that inspires us. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, one thing that inspires us is other musicians. And mm-hmm. I mean, it's, it's great. You know, and funny enough, you mentioned Pink Floyd. Every you're the third interview tonight, and Pink Floyd has come up in all three. Well, that's to, uh, to be honest, that's just uh, an image that came in my mind. Yeah, now, but 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 it is funny. That, I mean, you know, it's band that you know, kind of every you know, everybody that loves music has to kind of love mm-hmm. you know, you know, love that band. You know, which uh, which version of Pink Floyd it is is another conversation. Yeah, well, I was talking about the early days. Yes, of the band. yeah, um, you know, but. Is there anything you like to do to get back to your center? You you know, we all got to get some type of a writer's block, and we've got to just, you know, get away from music. Whether, you know, I mean, us, I mentioned, you know, we've got the ocean right here. You know, we can go diving. We can go to the beach. I do diving, actually. I'm a scuba diver, and Patrick, so Patrick is. So there's two members of the band are scuba divers. Yeah? Yeah. You, you got to come back next month. The Goliath Group or um, aggregation is here. It's the biggest uh, Goliath Group. You know group. where I'll be next month? I'll be on stage in Canada, you know. Oh, so, my God. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I could. Well, one of my best friends owns two dive boats. Come back. I'll get you, on, I'll get you out Well, there. next time, maybe, yeah. Yes, next time. Um, so... The the remix album that you guys just released a uh, cu- couple months ago. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The, uh, the rewind, EP. yeah, rewind. Yes. The you know, first of all, the Radical G remix of uh, Take One is brutal. Mm-hmm. Fa- um, how did how did that come that come about? Because you, I mean, you've got. Uh, Terrence Fixmer, the hacker, Kant Kino. Those, those, uh, the two, the two first, the hacker and Fixmer are, are friend of us, so we, okay. we know those guys. You know. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Well, the, it, it came up. Uh, it was to celebrate the 20th anniversary of Alpha Matrix, is the mm-hmm. di- distribution label we are working with, yep. and the 40 years of the band. It was supposed to come earlier because of the pandemic. Right. Everything was postponed, and then there was the uh, I don't know. You say that the the, the, the tracks, the vinyl the product that you need. There yeah. was a, a big lack. Uh, of that product yeah, in Europe. Distribution change interruption. Uh, so, yeah, so we had to wait. Um, but uh, it was an idea from the label, to be honest, at first. And then um, they uh, suggested that we could work with those people and we said, yeah, okay. It's always so, an idea from so the label, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, we were we were very uh, happy with the idea. So, yeah. um, and, um, it's fantastic. I mean, every song on there, I mean, they sounds had complete great. Freedom. They had yeah. complete freedom. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Um, so was there any involvement from the band or that's just, no. here's... Yeah. Oh, that. I mean, they did. They did a great job on that. I think they uh, did. Yes. Yeah. yeah. The. Oh, um, uh, let's see. One of the things I I noticed uh, following following some of you guys on social media, there's um, always postings of records being bought, and mm-hmm. I am, you know. I am such, I've got such a broad, eclectic range of music. I mean, you'll hear Ella Fitzgerald and Einstein and Day Neubaut and, you know, uh, you know, in my collection. And I will see post of Donna Summer. Yeah. To. Uh, well, that's my page. Yeah. That's my yeah. private page. Yeah. I, I didn't want to call anybody out. No, uh, no, no, no. It's, it's, it's my private page, but you can follow. So I, yeah. I, most of the posts are private. It's for yeah. my family and my friends. But so I know that some people are following me. Yeah. So some open are open. And that Donna Summer you mentioned, I was looking for that 12 inch for 30 years. Yeah. Yeah. Because it, I couldn't find it. Isn't that so much fun when you, fi- when you find that needle in a haste? The kids today don't understand that. Well. They go and they download something. They don't understand the joy of that's finding depending what, t- what kids you're talking about because in Europe right now in Belgium like kids are buying records like yeah. 12 years old you know they, they ask their parents a turntable for Christmas and they buying vinyls you know yeah. they 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 discover the pleasure of having the product in the hand the looking through the, the the boxes in the the record shop the talk with the guy who's uh, who's uh, working in the shop because oh you like that uh, not a, an algorithm you know like a, yeah. a human person and I think that they start to discover that there's something Something else than uh, all the the apps you can you can have uh, on on uh, on the net. Yeah. So um, yeah, um, my kids, for example, they are like buying records now. They have a turntable, and sometimes mm-hmm. I buy uh, doubles. So I'm like, hey, I got that for you. And yeah. What is it? Listen to it. Oh, it's cool, you know. But that Donna Summer, I was so so fucking happy. You have no idea. Thirty uh, years, and I paid a good price for it, so it was not that expensive. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I uh, was. 
I, I buy a lot of like you know the Mophie vinyl, the Mobile Fidelity, mm-hmm. yeah. um, and yeah, you know, I've I've got a whole you know uh, reference uh, stereo ses- system at the house. So, so do I. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what what kind of audio are you into? I can geek out just on gear. So. I, I I'm buying um, right now. I um I'm buying uh, old amplifiers from the I tried from the 70s like yeah. Mahans. I don't know if it yeah. was huge here. Yeah. And uh, because they're like very warm, um, and uh, well, they're a bit expensive. So on hand of course yes. uh, they don't do those anymore but uh it's all depending my room it's depending the the moment it's depending what's uh, on on the market when i right. when i want to buy one um my turntables i have stanton uh, audio technica i just bought a denon for my living room okay so it's like uh, it's 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 different the, the, depending on the room and the moment yeah it's um th- yeah i've got i think i've got enough parts in my garage to probably make three more stereos do that um but i've got you know for now i've got the you know my main audio file set up and then i've got you know another system in the front room for you know music that i say is not recorded as well yeah, yeah, you know okay. i don't want to put the 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 bad recordings on the good system it, i understand it's just, yeah not enjoyable. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I, I still listen sometimes to CD. I listen to a lot of uh, radio because we still have a few good radios in, in Brussels playing something else. Yeah. So, um, you know, I listen to the, to the radio in my car all the time. So I'm, I think that I'm, uh, well, the four, the, 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 the four of us are very uh, open uh, in terms of music. We're not only electronic, uh, listening to EBM or electro music. You know? Right. I think, well, I think you have to, right? Well, yeah, w- some some people can't do that, but um, you know, I, I like to. Uh, right now, since the pandemic, I start to buy a lot of seventies music, yeah, uh, soul music, uh, R R um, disco, funk, right, and because for the sound, for the uh, for the groove of it, and next to that, I can listen to uh, Anschluss oder Neuboden. So yeah, they, um, which I will not listen to on on the good system. <laughs> well, mm, the last we, album, you know, it's, yeah. it's, uh, I think it's very cabaret. I went to yeah. see him live. And so I think it needs like a good stereo yeah. system. Yeah. I, I, I will give it another try. Do that. The, um, the, I thank you so much for spending. I know you are very limited for time. I thank you so much. You are um, very welcome. For, you know, for spending your time with us. And I'm um, looking forward to hearing, uh, seeing you tonight. Sound check sounded fantastic. I hope so. Yeah, it, it, it really did. I know. And I'm, I'm looking outside right now, and it looks like it stopped raining. Yeah. So. Oh, well, I mean, this is Florida. If, you know, give it five minutes, it'll change. Oh, don't say that. Don't <laughs> no, say no, that. I, no, don't it's, ruin it. It's, 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 it's supposed to clear up by the time you guys play. It's supposed to be clear. I've been watching the radar. Okay, so, cool. Um, yeah, we, I've, I've got my fishing apps on the phone, so I've been watching the radar. Good. Um, again, thank you so much for Thanks your time. Thanks to you for having me. Thank you. Enjoy.